three years. We've come so far in just three short years. The sign of a strong leader, sir. No. The will of a strong people. And one very able advisor. Thank you, sir. Your team deserves credit as well, Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. We prefer private security providers, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes, by taking a life, others can be preserved. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm. A soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. <clears throat> what is happening? Someone's blocking the lead vehicle. Hold on. Clear the road! This is official state business! You'll need to 
choose between light and heavy strikes to match the situation. Take self-repair units from your foes to replenish your own supply. limo to your solid down radar. Jack. What do you want with the Prime Minister? I want him dead. Nothing personal, of course. Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? Business ain't been the same since they shut down SOP. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? This is your answer. <laughs> Don't do it! Don't worry now. I won't. Not while he's still useful. <sighs> so long.
Rest of the line. Use the ninja man to dodge that blast. and to move over obstacles automatically. Do not let him out of your sight. You must catch him.
Standing for the front of the train. After him. Dryden, an unidentified field roader is headed your way. Keep an eye out for it. Sealed here any longer. Stop! What about all the good things war has done for us? Why don't we ever hear speeches about that? Jobs, technology, a common purpose? Right in. Forget me. Stop him. <clears throat> you ain't listening. <laughs> Mind if I got in? All we're saying... Give war a chance!
This is what happens when you bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over. <laughs> Lucky devil. <laughs> So good. I've got a clean visual. A direct feed to your optic now. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovarich. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Rival? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy sidewalks should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? is a combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Three mics out and closing. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick brief. I know you miss me, Kev, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government, or what's left of it anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta has been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolsaev, leader of the occupation forces, an extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier, none other than Desperado Enforcement LLC. Imani's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sand. I believe you've met. 
The only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country, but keep an eye out, Justin. No. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. You landed safely, duh? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your Solitan radar. Contact us on Codec if you have questions. The bastards are using stealth cable to ambush you. Nice try, but it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you, eh? Huh? To bury incoming teams, throw out your own barrage of light attacks while your foe is on the offensive. Right. Whenever you engage in battle, I will designate a battle area for you. Stay within the area to avoid collateral damage. Had your fill? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder. Where would Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, they're still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. A bit cold, Raiden. Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. Raiden, this is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. Hostiles in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them, or approach from behind.
Excellent, Raiden. Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Huh. Some civilians are still in the city. That is not good. Limits. What? No, I'm not doing anything. Can we just kill him? It'll be easier. <laughs> he is scared to death, Ryder. Let him know he is safe. Thank you, thank you. I, I will not forget you. You are headed out of the operation zone. Head to the waypoint marked on your Soliton radar. Heading for refinery. the meaning of life. Why are we here? I am here to kill you. That's it? Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. 
Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate!
pretty stupid to try and hide here. Looks to me like Russian spies. Hey, we are just... Well, we can't let him get away. Wait. So that's where they're holed up. Some kind of electronic lock on the gate. Most likely it opens only if you have the right ID data stored in your left hand. Perhaps you could find a cyborg with access and, uh, borrow it? You see any cyborgs around here, Doc? Why not double back? Check the vehicle route again. You know, back at the entrance to the old city. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you can hitch a ride. Most likely platoon commanders carry correct ID data for the gate. Use enhanced mode to figure out who to hit. Yeah, I just dodged a bullet. All right, I'm heading for the refinery.
intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your soliton radar. Up above you! is just ahead at the end of the old city. Beyond that is the refinery's backyard. So what? It's a sheer drop? The refinery's not connected to the city at all? No. It was only built two years ago. There should be a narrow path around there that leads to the plant. It is protected by a fence, but probably you can cut your way through. Probably. Don't get cocky. Most likely it is Desperado running security down there. Keep on coming! in the area. Part of factory security, no doubt, but the enemy may be using it. I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. No one calls me that anymore. Dolsayev, where is he? I can show you a better time than that crusty old bear. You're in charge here? I am Mistral. The cold wind of France. And you, your reputation precedes you. Liberian. But white as snow. A natural born killer, even as a child. That was a long time ago. I was born in Algeria myself, you know? I'm only half French. And? We had our own civil war in the 90s. So you see? Cut from the same cloth, you and I. You don't know me. I lost my whole family. Everything. But I butchered those fuckers. My family's killers. That's when I realized I am a killer too. And a good one at that. I slaughtered dozens in Iraq, in Afghanistan. I'd found my calling. Proud of that, are you? What happened, happened. To be honest, I found it quite dull. My enemies fell like domino, one after another. Not once did I feel threatened. I was adrift, without challenge, without purpose. At times, I even envied my prey. At least they had a cause to die for. And then, I met him. Who? And I knew what I had been missing. His ideals gave my life meaning. Ideals, Jack. 
What are yours? I protect the weak. <laughs> Still? So naive. And if I must kill to protect them, then so be it. Hmm. It seems we have less in common than I thought. I'll take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them. Surrender. 
We are exactly where I want. Shit. Built with Russian money to make Russian money. It is no plan for our cars. It is their prison. <sighs> Not now. They will be free! Up. I think. Time to get you out of there. We're sending a helicopter. Secure an LZ. Understood. Got some kind of disguise lined up, right? Yep, all set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. Yeah. Well, <laughs> just get into the sewer system ASAP. Hopefully, anyone who notices you will just mind their own business. You sure you want the K9000 there along for this one? I had the good doctor make some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah, I say let's throw them a bone. Wordplay. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. Let's go. It's right. I'm in the sewer system. All right, let's get started. Your mission's to investigate the Desperado-affiliated research center somewhere in that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. FYI, they're also involved with the cartels in human trafficking. Allegedly, anyway. <sighs> this just gets better and better. Tell me about it. We need you to infiltrate the lab and find out everything you can. Of course, you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact location. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection, sneak into the lab, and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. No problem. Stealth's my specialty. Right. Well, we'll see. Do we have any idea what kind of research they're doing there? Not really. Maybe something related to all the people they're trafficking. Like experimentation? It's possible. First things first, though. Find a way into that lab. Oh, right. It says here the locals say black crocodiles live in those sewers. So, you know, uh, watch out. <laughs> black crocodiles? Could they be talking about UGs? Maybe just an urban legend. But still, be careful. I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Commence operation. Right. I'm 
unidentified UGs are patrolling the sewers. Exercise caution. Yeah, I'm from America. Call me Ryden. Me name George, like Georgetown. George. And just like all damn America president. Yeah. So what are you doing here? Me? What the rest of you do here? You lose the map of Ninja Hideout, Ninja Man? <laughs> no, I'm looking for bad guys. Our damn Skunter Research Lab. You know about it? Me know me now go back. Hey, you're not one of them scunt, nah? Nah, I guess you're all right. If you're a cyborg, you know who Day is? Sort of. What happened to you? Oh, maybe you live on the street, they can skip above, nah? Then this Kootenai dressed like the Mafia say, Hey, boy, you want a job? What well, the worst gonna happen, nah? But that mother scunt don't put me on a rass boat. They pack us all a pickable doty container, next thing we know, we're here, at that zombie lab. All kids? Like you? Yeah, a lot of boy. But then me been over here what them scunt wanna do. Snuff us out. And got all day organ. So you ran? Uh-huh. It's shame me not a bad-ass robot ninja man, same as you! <laughs> Maybe the strongest cyborg ever. 
Warlock all them phantoms and black clothes that I pass me? Starting to sound like a bad guy yourself. Just playing, nah? Me done plenty bad thing, but me not kill no man. Nah, never. Good. We tried to warn the boy. I say, are you this brain would get cut out? Run your ass out of there! But them boy with me no understand. They like Spanish or something. So me the only one for escape. Then that machine come after me and... And I know the rest. George, <laughs> I need every detail about how you escaped. Oh. So the kid got into the sewers through a drainage channel? Yeah. Got it. There's something else. It sounds like a Desperado exec was on site yesterday. If a Sentry Cyborg was on hand for the meeting... You should be able to review their video log. That would give us the evidence we need. So what about the kid? I made sure the area was secure and told him to sit tight. Can you pick him up? Sure. I'll send a couple agents for him. You just focus on getting into that lab. If what he said is true about the organs, we need to hurry. Agreed. Riding out. activity ahead. It is possible they are conducting test operations while the lab is closed. They're not going to make it easy to get into that lab. Is there some way you could sneak past? Intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your soliton radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice. You're under attack! Keep on coming! appear to be the UG maintenance area. You should find a terminal there. And something I can use to access the lab's main server? Perhaps. But first you need to take a dump. I... wait, what? A dump? A digital optical output mounted proxy. You'll need one to interface with the terminal. Most any UG should suffice. I'll see what I can come up with. How do I use it? Simply connect to it. You should be able to use your communications outlet to control the proxy UG. All right, let's give it a shot. Right, right, right. What the 
Continue to increase security. They may shut out. That room. Those were cyborg brain casings. Duh. George said they were harvesting organs from kids. Yes. This must be why they are trafficking children. Perhaps other organs are being sold elsewhere, but they are definitely taking their brains. Jesus. Wait. The cyborgs you've been fighting, did they seem like they might be kids? You said earlier that child soldiers have a telltale approach to combat. Yeah, but I didn't see it here. Those weren't kids. So, what? We've got to do something about all those brains. And the other kids George was talking about. He just escaped a few hours ago. True. There could still be a bunch of kids they haven't touched yet. I better move. It is all ours. Now, use it to locate a data input terminal. These guys are pretty jumpy now. Any funny business, and they might just open fire. Try latching onto cyborgs' heads from behind. Then, an electric shock should knock them unconscious. something. In one of the Sentry Cyborg's visual logs, guess who shows up? Patch it through. Right away. And he 
Your work is light. We need to ship before our cover is blown. We've got some assholes snooping around. We just do not have the food quantity yet. Each brain has its own unique requirements. It's not like we can just pop them out with an ice cream scoop. <laughs> All right. Make your point. Oh, <laughs> thank you for understanding. Say what you have now. I will destroy any unharvested inventory. Okay? But have you any idea what they cost? Last night, I checked. Children weren't exactly rare in the part of the world. Millions of them, in fact. You can get more once we set up a new lab. They lead lives of hunger and pain. We're performing a service here for them and the cities they burden. But just gathering the donors required a significant investment. Yes, yes. yes you'll get the money. Accounting will be in touch. Gracias. I assure you we will dispose of our inventory the instant we can confirm payment. Are we done here? I've got a full slate today. Takumse is a demanding mistress. And America has suffered long enough. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me see you out. Kev, and Mani's killer. Desperado's chief of operations goes by Sundowner, the Californian wildfire. The kids. Think we're too late? Only one way to find out. Mm, maybe. But you heard what he said. They've already started some brains on VR training. There must be more than just what I found here. What about the VIP in the suit? I'll find out. Right. I'm going after the kids. <laughs> George. What? Maybe the coordinates you sent us were off? No way. I merged the GPS location of our entry with all my movement data from that point on. This is bad. You think they got to him first? I don't know. I'll have our guys sweep the area. Thanks. Walking the way. Push that thing back. I'd seen that guy before. Stephen Armstrong. They're already talking about him as a shoe-in for the nomination in 2020. World Marshal. One of the biggest PMCs out there. I remember. The biggest. Ever since the Big Five split up. Not to mention the single largest investor in military cyborg R&D in the world. Marshal and Desperado in bed together. 
Should make for some fun headlines. Headlines? This is World Marshal and a U.S. Senator we're talking about. There won't be any headlines. Even without the Patriots filter, no major media outlet will investigate allegations like these. So we just what? Sit back while they keep carving up kids? Stay you heard them. We shut down one lab, they build another. We need to hit them first and hit them hard where it counts. No, Raiden, no. Colorado is in America. And America has these things called laws. Mm-hmm. Marshall, yes, so what? There are still laws. And it's their headquarters, for Christ's sakes. You'd be heading right into the heart of a raging shitstorm. I didn't say it would be easy. We'll figure it out once the kids are safe. Jesus Christ. Kevin, out. Blood cryo preserver. They must have begun preparatory freezing. What do you mean? That device is filled with synthetic blood plasma. It can slow the metabolism of a harvested organ. You can preserve an arm, a brain, any body part for several hours. So what are they freezing, and why? I could not say. Unbelievable. You had best hurry, right? Right. Anesthetic in smaller doses. But breathe too much of it? And adios, muchachos! Break that glass, and I'll blow his brains out! Surrender! Or decide the needs of the many, or the needs of the few. Right in. Don't worry about me now. Quiet, pendejo! <laughs> Surrender! I won't ask again. George, are you sure? Huh? Hmm. I'm ready. Me life now so precious. Ting. What if we can take this scunt to hell with me? Quiet! President Hamilton is on his way to the Middle East this morning for his scheduled visit with Pakistani President Farooq Salam. 
The meeting is viewed as an attempt by the U.S. to strengthen relations amidst a surge of anti-American sentiment in the region. Yo, me ninja brother! George, good to see you up and about. How you feeling? Never better, na? No pain, no more for star while them hunger space eat, and me never ever feel so awake, na? That's because your blood sugar levels are being maintained automatically. Beats the hell out of coffee. Oh! Me been here you go while I got them scone in the base. Why the rasa you not take me with you, huh? Damn it, Doc. Sorry, kid. You'd just be in the way. Aw. Besides, I thought you didn't want to be a killer, right? Me don't, but... Killing isn't fun in games. Remember that. Right. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. No! It yearns to bathe in the blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. Yeah, just remember that. Sorry, Boris, it's done. Can't have a Maverick employee involved in a corporate raiding now, can we? You could at least come talk to me. No. It was time to break away from the old team, Boris. Past time. You cannot take on Marshall all by yourself. I won't sit by while they butcher little kids and ship their parts around like meat. It's sick. It's not all so simple, Ryder. They import those brains legally. For medical purposes, it's all done. Being legal doesn't make it right. Ryder. I... Hold that thought! Area. You're in violation of state and federal law. Guess you'd better arrest me then. <laughs> 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 Eighteen three one zero four point seven. Threatening a peace officer. Deadly force is authorized.
The road is blocked by barricades. We will proceed through the buildings. You will follow me. your last fight. The caller's position is on your Soliton radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice. Here comes more of them. What's your status? They trashed my car. I'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. Do you really have to do this? Look, I'm fed up with all of it. Companies like ours, yours, bend the laws when it suits business. Raiden. Boris, listen to me. That VR training. They'll be warped into killing machines. They'll be set on POWs, civilians. Hmm. Like what you went through. We can't have any more Jack the Rippers. You saw what happened with George. I'm doing this, Boris. I have to. I can't save those kids from becoming cyborgs. Say so you succeed. So you get all the brains back. Then what? Just so happens I know un great cybernetic surgeon. Doctor. But he cannot... You won't change my mind, Boris. And your wife and son? What of them? They're in New Zealand. Safe. Rose would understand why I have to do this. <sighs> all right, damn you. You do realize Marshall has the contract for law enforcement throughout the city. They are the law in Denver. Yeah, we've met. Well then. <clears throat> Officially, Maverick Incorporated condemns you and your actions as unlawful. Now, increase your codec encryption. Do not worry about the lag. And unofficially? I'll do all I can over the codec to help. I do not like what those Mudaki are doing any more than you. Spasiba, Tavarich. Spasiba. Doc, 
What's your status? I am reviewing the pre-flight checklist now. I have hired contractors to handle shipping the brain units. We should be airborne in just a few minutes. You sure you can pilot that chopper by yourself? Right, and of course. Need I remind you that we live in the golden age of unmanned flight? Even manned helicopters possess a robust semi-automatic mode. So simple that I can continue to monitor your status and world martial security from the pilot seat. I must say, for the world's largest PMC, their security procedures are quite poor. Sadly, I did not have the necessary permissions to override their plans. So please, do feel free to contact me whenever you like. Appreciate it, Doc. Well, it's not every day one has the chance to collect so many brains. Think research! Oh, and of course, your personal safety was a concern as well. HQ, we could use some support!
This must be the railroad. It would appear so. Likely part of Denver's old system. This city was a major transport hub in the early years of freight trains. This particular line appears to have been abandoned some time ago. It was originally constructed to transport supplies to an underground factory, but now it seems even the electrical system is no longer functioning. Yeah, it's pitch black in here. As a cyborg, I trust this is not a serious concern. I'll just buy a quick souvenir or two for Rose, and that'll be it. Raiden, we must hurry. Remind me to teach you about sarcasm sometime. I understand your attempts at humor. on the 
the overpass. I suggest you cutting the road supports. That should bring it down. Objective marker. is a means to an end, to protect those you'd prey on. Really? Let me ask you, all those cyborgs you've killed up to now, maybe they weren't kids, but they were people. You ever think about them? When you're chopping them into hamburger? <laughs> they're adults. They made their choice. Sure they're adults. Sure they signed up for this. Right on the dotted line of their PMC contract. 
Usually they're no strangers to war. In fact, many times they already lost a limb or two. Many times they were out of work and starving on the street. So yes, they sign up for surgery to fight God knows where. How else would you provide for your family when your country's embroiled in civil war? Pain receptors shut down, pumped full of fear inhibiting nanomachines and sent right into the blender? Your blender? But they made their choice, right? Open your eye and see, Raiden. I've seen plenty. Then listen. Those battlefield emotions that the nanos suppress. Listen to them. What are you talking about? Shh. missions. He proved most capable. You think highly of him? I have always found him dependable. Until now. Scouting data for the next area. I'll patrol ahead. You follow.
You are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. My name is Monsoon of the Winds of Destruction. Yeah, I guessed as much. Sides of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? You're the ones exploiting them. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. Kill or be killed, Jack. Phnom Pen taught me that. Yes, you aren't the only one to grow up on the killing field. War is a cruel parent, but an effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in my psyche. That this world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. Controlled by something greater. Means. The DNA of the soul. They shape our will. They are the culture. They are everything we pass on. Expose someone to anger long enough, they will learn to hate. They become a carrier. Envy, greed, despair. All means all passed along. How about full of shit? Is that a mean? You can't fight nature, Jack. Wind blows, rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. <sighs> Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives, a means of justice. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you've taken. Absolved you of guilt when you enjoyed it. That is, until the illusion was broken. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You have no choices to make, nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience. You're right. About me, I mean. I knew something was off. After the Patriots, I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak, but I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. In America, my friends, my family, they helped me forget the devil inside. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! <sighs> the bit about my sword, that means of justice stuff, I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee-deep in bodies. You? But you, all this, is a wake-up call to what I really believe. What I really am. What are you saying? I'm saying Jack is back. Ha <gasps> 
<sighs> Doctor, turn off my pain inhibitors. What? This... this is madness! You... Do it! Uh, all right.
on me! Fine, Kevin. Relax. I'll get the brains. I don't want this for anyone else. All right, man. Later. Sundowner contacted you from the top floor. Time to make your way up there. The elevators appear to be disabled, which we should have expected, I suppose. I will access the control unit 
Perhaps you can hack an elevator and make it operational. Ooh, splendid idea! By all means, yes! It seems the guards are storming the building. Guidance, get back to... Entrance! Find some time to get this elevator operational! the guard. Just get in the elevator.
security purposes, the building is divided into upper and lower halves. The lower area consists of offices and meeting space for staff and visitors, while confidential military projects and technical research are restricted to the upper levels. So that's where the brains in the server room will be? Up Indeed. You need to get to the 20th floor and... Let me guess. Well, that is the problem. Se so... The only option is to cut the power to the security gate. It is powered by no less than three systems, including... You will need to destroy all of the electrical control panels to disable them. In any case, you should arrive at the 20th floor soon. The electrical panels are most likely hidden in the walls. Use your enhanced AR to search for any unusual heat sources inside the walls there. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Bam! I found you! No choice now! Down, two to go. Keep at it, Raiden. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Excellent. Just one more. And keep on coming. an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Yes, that should take care of security. Now, head back to the gate. Shall I activate your pain inhibitors now? No, keep them off. I need it this way. Uh, well, as you wish. I must say, I... What you getting at, Doc? Most of the time, you're working with First World ex-military. Grown men. Compared to the average Third World child soldier, I can't really complain. Most of them. They're the sort of gorillas your typical patient gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but... Uh... This shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes. Look. Just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. I do my business, you do yours. Uh, yes. They're pouring in from everywhere. This is crazy. Do not have to fight every enemy you encounter, right? Try and keep moving. to blow open the door for me, yeah? <laughs> Idiots.
the area. Perhaps they could be put to use. The way is up now, yeah? Almost there. I have, you should find an indoor garden up ahead. A garden? A Japanese garden, to be precise. It is an area set aside for VIPs. Apparently, one of World Marshal's directors is a rather serious Japanese culture enthusiast. All right. So what's this got to do with me? Is there something I need from the garden? Not at all. You need only pass through that area to arrive at a freight elevator. I found a route to the elevator controls through the unit we hijacked downstairs. I have located the server room as well. You can reach it via the freight elevator. Great work, Doc. Elementary, my dear Raiden. Now, head for the garden. The main exit is sealed. I very much doubt you can get through there. The catwalk above you was connected to a corridor meant for transporting materials. You can take that to the elevator. All right, follow the catwalk straight ahead to reach the elevator. My apologies, Raiden. I seem to have fallen behind. No worries. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. Then, that is your true nature. More or less. I find no reason to alter my objectives. From the moment we met, you have acted on emotional urges. You speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. It is impossible. You cannot save every human being in the world after extended observation. I have come to a conclusion. Huh. Guess so. However, your emotional status is understandable. Well, if that's what you feel... Roger. You can reach the server room via the freight elevator just ahead.
Zug abreißen! Another Freight Platform! Look out! Incoming! ahead? Yes, according to what I have here. What should I expect to find? If they're VR training those brains... Quite right. Most of it will likely be occupied by life support units. They would also need a server to feed them the VR data, but in terms of structure... But no doubt it makes a convenient euphemism for what they are really doing there. Yeah, like how CIA agents refer to where they work as the company. Indeed. Something like that would never arouse the suspicions of rank-and-file staff who may hear it. And I'm sure those complicit in this operation feel better not calling it the VR training room. Even something so simple as a name can help one ignore the truth of what they are doing. So this, if he wants a fight, I wish he'd just get on with it. Well, he is in charge of security. If I had to guess, I would say he is toying with you. And whatever he's doing, it won't change what's going to happen once... Ah! 
and its thermal suit? Well, if it's AI control, it should pose no problem for you, yes? <laughs> Disrupt the students while class is in session. I believe you're familiar with the lesson plan. The same regimen you went through in Liberia. Effective program. Just look how you turned out. Of course, running it in the real world just got a bit too complicated. Doing it virtually, though? No fuss, no muss. Straight to the brain. It's like a dream. Well, maybe dream is the wrong word. They do kill some POWs, some civilians. <laughs> they enjoy it, though. We give their pleasure centers a nice big jolt every time. <laughs> Plus, they get a shiny new body as a graduation present. Another thing you have in common. I chose this. They're kids, you son of a bitch. And kids are cruel. All people are by nature. They just lose touch with it as they get older. Start thinking they know right and wrong. That's immoral. War crime this, code of conduct that. Kids, you can mold. Manipulate it to performing all kinds of atrocities. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. <sighs> you just don't see the bigger picture, do you? Say you bring this whole place down. Waltz out of the rubble with all these precious brains. Nothing changes. All the guys in charge are long gone. We've got offices around the world. We're just suppliers. We don't create the market for war. And who does? The Patriots are gone. <laughs> Those guys just manage the war economy. They didn't invent it. Did you think every battle in history was all part of some big old conspiracy? Bullshit! War is just part of who we are. Why fight it? Anyway, none of this will matter in three hours. Demand for PMCs is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11. What are you talking about? Not here. Follow me. Bryden, get Sundowner. Do not lose it this time.
Jack. We can play up here without damaging the merchandise. What happens in three hours? <laughs> Don't matter. You're too late. Even at Mach 2, you wouldn't make it. And killing you is gonna take some time. Slow and painful.
What happens in three hours? You'll launch Operation Tecumseh. Who? Armstrong. I've already said too much. I have a call to make. <laughs> Got yourself shaving? <laughs> Riding here. I've just... Yeah, yeah. I have just entered Denver airspace. Hurry. Right. What Sundowner said. I know. And in three hours, maybe... He said even Mach 2 could not get there in time. If he was serious, that's over 4,000 miles away. 4,500. So whatever it is, it's not happening on American soil. If it's gonna spike demand for PMCs, it's gotta be a political hotspot. A coup or civil war in a stable region wouldn't have a domino effect. And they'd want to draw in a superpower. No. What? The president. He's on his way to Pakistan. If something happens to him there... Oh, shit. The war on terror part two. Contact the military. Official channels are frozen since Mexico. Besides, what's our proof? Then we have to get there first. Nevis Mushnar. It is the other side of the planet. Even if we were in the world's fastest jet right now, it's not even close. Hold up. It's not a jet we need. Courtney? An RLV would make it with time to spare. Hmm. That's... Mach 23, if we're talking one atmosphere. 17,650 miles per hour. That would make Pakistan in under half an hour. Right. Contact Solus. set to go, sir. Excellent. Commencing takeoff in semi-auto mode. You know, this kind of space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. Amazing. The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ-320s. This is a transport chopper. Our defensive options are limited. Missiles incoming! EMP? Yes, but not strong enough to take out the drone. Have a nice flight. And people say Germans aren't funny. Chopper around.
This is easier said than done, you know! My friend, your sacrifice will not be forgotten. That was quite the fall, Raiden. I'm glad to see that you are all right. Huh? It's time you got out of Denver. <laughs> This. You just get those brains out of here. And what will you do? Get out of here and... Ah, the young lady's company, yeah? Yeah. Guess I'll just have to borrow some. A lot of cars got abandoned when the evac order came down. But won't the roads be blocked if you are struck by one of those missiles, or... I know. Let me just worry about putting some distance between me and World Marshal. But it still needs time to accelerate and decelerate from first cosmic velocity. It could require more than 30 minutes to get to Pakistan.
This is a route with relatively light security. I will mark the heading on your Soliton radar. Seems like it. You have passed the last of the barricades. Save your strength. Find a vehicle. Right. That should do nicely. Okay on your side? I am out of Colorado airspace and nothing on the radar. Good. I'm almost there. See meeting you here. You knew I'd come. I suppose I should thank you for not killing everyone at the launch site. <laughs> well, not if you say it like that. For a hired killer, you're not very good at your job. The war is the big payoff. Right. Big raises all around once World Marshal gets all those contracts. I'm not talking about money, Jack. 
I'm talking ideals. Excuse me? <sighs> Forget it. We've both heard enough speeches about higher causes by now. History will decide who's right. End of story. enough for killing you. Huh? Oh, good. <laughs> Why, that's very good. Yes, I like that. Must you really fight? Don't interfere. This is between us. here. Okay. Let's dance! Even AIs don't know everything. It is likely no single correct answer exists. Additionally, human conflict stems from opposing ideals and societal norms. I was not programmed with these guidelines. You're better off figuring those out for yourself. ID locked. A VT-7 high-frequency blade. The efficacy of the enhancement directly correlates to the quality of the original weapon. My file indicates Sam inherited the sword from his father. Going to bury it? I will retain it in memory of Sam.
have less than one hour. Hurry! Roger that. Mr. Ryden, sir? Where is she? I'll tell her you've arrived. Over here! <laughs> Hi there, stranger. Hey. You're looking good. Aw, who's your little friend? Oh, it's a long story. Shake? <laughs> good boy! <laughs> uh, I guess we don't really have time to catch up. Sorry, not really. It's okay. Follow me. So exactly what kind of... You'll see. You built that? Yep. lace ramjet engine I designed. Well, are you in a hurry or not? <laughs> right. Hey, thanks, Sonny. Hmm? <laughs> Please switch off all cell phones and portable gaming devices. And remember, this is a no-smoking flight. <laughs> Roger. Ready for countdown. No time for that. Ignition! got the right place? Gotta be. It's the only base big enough with security contracted out to World Marshal. 
All right. I'm headed in. See that? Their EXIF codes show up as unaffiliated. Wait, Marshall has the security contract for this base. Why would they have their cyborg set to the same illegal EXIF code as Desperado? No, they're making it look like Desperado hacked their soldiers on site. The Pakistani rebels. Oh, but if we go public with the Desperado-Marshall connection... Won't matter. The media and the public won't be able to resist. Damn it, you're right. What about any humans on the base? Mar Dead, most likely. Or brain jacked. If they... Huh. They'd never publicize what airport the president was flying into. And almost no one would have access to an outside line for security reasons. At least until Air Force One arrives. I'm heading for the control tower. Good idea. Be careful. Sam's gone. Brighton, there is no time to worry about the soldiers. Get to the control tower. Saucy Jack. Just a little too late, as usual. I'm strong. Impressive little toy you've got there. But your plan ends here. <laughs> Idiot. You're not ending our plan. You're expanding it. Check the internet lately. Raiden, Air Force One is turning back to the States. What? How'd they know? Someone posted photos of what's happening on the base. 
The whole world is up in arms. Show me. How did they? The story leaked early. Then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. Look what they're saying. The story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. But the president was saved. And yet American blood was spilled. By Americans. Besides, a few dozen soldiers is tragic, but nothing to start a major war over. That's just the spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They left us their great isms. Nationalism, unilateralism, materialism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith, without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value. The economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Even war. Especially war. Bullshit! The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. We're all sons of the Patriots now! We just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession has been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> and the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? BMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. <sighs> of course, that would have to include you. Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message.
slippery little bastard. I don't have time for this. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. One day, every person in this nation will control their own destiny. A land of the truly free, damn it! A nation of action, not words ruled by strength, not committee! Where the law changes to suit the individual, not the other way around! Where power and justice are back where they belong! In the hands of the people! Where every man is free to think, to act for himself. Fuck all these lunatic lawyers and chicken shit bureaucrats. Fuck this 24 7 internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit. <laughs> Fuck American pride! Fuck the media! Fuck all of it! 
America's disease, rotten to the core. There's no saving it. We need to pull it out by the roots. <coughs> Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down! <coughs> and from the ashes, a new America will be born! Evolved, but unchanged! The weak will be purged. And the strongest will thrive. Free to live as they see fit. They'll make America great again! What the hell are you talking about? You still don't get it. I'm using war as a business to get elected! <laughs> so I can end war as a business. In my new America, people will die and kill for what they believe! Not for money, not for oil! Not for what they're told is right. Every man will be free to fight his own wars! What do you think? Oh, how the hell did you get elected? <laughs> well, I don't write my own speeches. You should try fighting for what you believe in sometime, Jack. Not for a company or a nation or for anyone else. Maybe I was wrong about you. Am I finally getting through? I'll rid this world of pointless wars, Jack. I was wrong. You're not greedy. Shit insane! Making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Not when you're purging the wheat, right? What do you know about the weak? You weren't born poor. You've never been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight, and steal, and kill just to survive. But you did survive! Through sheer force of will, following your own set of rules. With your own two hands, you took back your life. And now, I'll take yours. I'm gonna crush you! Don't you fuck with me! Ha! <laughs> 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 
response to physical trauma. You can't hurt me, Jack! <laughs> what did I just say? Time to end this. Guy's a pain in my ass. So, you think that little sword can save your master? <laughs> well, go ahead then. But make no mistake, Fido. When I'm finished with him, you're next. I was not designed to fear termination. Huh? However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here would violate that directive. That's a good point. <sighs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now, created my own directives. You little fuck. Come on! Okay. Let's dance! Here we go! 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 Here we go!
pet right for your family but first our top story president hamilton returns from pakistan today completing his first visit to the country since the failed assassination attempt in shabazz bad last may 
In meetings with Pakistani President Farooq Salam, the two leaders agreed to a new joint initiative in the War on Terror, whereby U.S. Marines will be stationed in Pakistan and given wider authority to conduct operations within the country. This is amidst growing tensions within Pakistan between the country's civil and military leadership, with many in the government calling on the ISI military intelligence agency to be investigated. Unbelievable. In After all that. For the last time, let it go, Courtney. At least Armstrong will never be president. But, I mean, Ryden. There he is. I have excellent news. We are approved. The new corporation is established. Nice work, Doc. I guess the world's first cyborg staffing firm is officially open for business. We are certified for construction and long-term nursing care, but this is just the beginning. The potential for new roles cyborgs can play is limitless. And we're sure this isn't child labor? So all the pre uh, children can work now, the rest when they come of age. And it's strictly voluntary, you know. We're not running a charity here, huh? Oh. Eh? Oh. <laughs> Donations alone would not even cover their maintenance. Besides, this way they'll learn a trade. Perhaps some discipline, eh? It's not a perfect solution. But you know what? At least these kids will get a decent education. Well, I'm not about to return them to the streets. Or to broken homes. At least we can give them a chance, <laughs> yeah. eh? No. <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> Oops. <sighs> An imperfect solution for an imperfect world. Well, another benefit. A peaceful application for all my research. <laughs> <laughs> Since when do you care? Well, recent events have been food for thought, shall we say? No kidding. Speaking of recent events, how's our new recruit working out? Ah, yes, quite well. Quite well. Oi! Sunny! Where you have this again? Hang on. Just give me one second. Yeah, okay. You make me head spin, you know? Mm. You're the same age as me, but all this spaceship? You're a genius, girl. Mm -hmm. And you're hot for days. Huh? Where did that come from? <laughs> Alert! Alert! Release and end. <laughs> <laughs> this is about a crazy world, nah? <laughs> For me, see that ninja? Me never think I've been this kind of life. Yeah. Huh? He rescued me too, you know. Saved my life. I owe him everything. To some people, he'll always be Jack the Ripper. I know all about his past. He had it rough. And he hurt a lot of people. Hmm. But that's not the Raiden I know. The Raiden I know... is a hero. And how's business? Oh, good, good. Their doctor's research and staffing service certainly help. I hear world marshals looking for a buyer. <laughs> well, you cost them a lot of money, no? Not to mention killing their funding. Literally. <laughs> uh, the bread-taking program is finished, but the larger company is not, I'm afraid. Uh, someone will buy them. PMCs are in demand once again. Yeah. Fighting for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. Big pardon? No. 
Nothing. Ah. So, your mind is made? You will not come back. Sorry, Boris. I understand. But then, what will you do? Cherry blossoms. Yeah. I take it you're not a fan? No. <laughs> they make me sick. I knew Johnson's team was working on some fancy pants new reception area. But Jesus. When I get my hands on that candy ass. He'll be lucky if he can even carry his box of shit out of the building. <laughs> Is it really so horrible? They're only trees. They go from full blossom to bare in a week. One fucking week. Everywhere in DC you hear, oh, it's so fleeting and beautiful. Pathetic. What do you think? Nature is just nature. Not beautiful, not ugly. The wind blows, the flowers float away. It's simply how things are. Huh. In any case, Minuano should be close. Minuano? The cool Brazilian wind. Mm. A.K.A. Jet Stream Sam. you think you're doing, buddy? Well, what do we have here? Oh. This?
Basically, state your business here. Me? Oh, just sharpening my skills. Wandering the earth, dispensing justice, but only to those who deserve it. Such as outlaws, desperados. You refer to World Marshal. <laughs> the ones holding your leash, right? The ones who issue my orders. And your orders are to kill me? Yes. <laughs> Call me biased. But those seem like pretty dumb orders, Pop. Why don't you try thinking for yourself? For myself. <laughs> Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. Well, that's a pity. I am sorry. You must die. Then... I am sorry. As well. You will die. fight because you're forced to. I fight because I choose to. My design is flawed. Now, now. 
I am quite good, you know. <sighs> Why do these sewers seem so familiar? Last, our hero reaches the castle. what I was looking.
say you took on a drug cartel back in Brazil, all by yourself. Almost took it down, too. <laughs> if you had, another outfit would have taken its place. One way or another, it always goes back to business as usual. You realized that, didn't you, Sam? That's why you left. I was out for revenge, and I got it. Well then, let's see what you got now. to the top floor. It'd be a shame if we didn't meet after you went to all this trouble. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Everything they said you were, Sam. Yet still so naive. And how is that? Outfits like ours, they're living things. You can't destroy them with violence alone. You may kill a part of it. A limb or two. Then I'll just have to kill all of it. All of you. <laughs> we're not some band of favela thugs. I told you, our outfit is a living thing. You've destroyed plenty of street gangs all over the world. I'm not here for the world. Well, that's more like it. Let's just see how far that attitude gets you here, shall we? Nothing like a sword fight under the cherry blossoms.
This is huge. Not surprised. You're one of the most qualified applicants we've ever had. Applicants? <laughs> oh, but you're doing so well at our test, Sam. You're Armstrong. I already have a job. Destroying men like you. All from your cushy corner office where. Well put, Sam. You and I have more in common than you think. Come on up to the roof for your final interview. What are you talking about? <laughs> Hurry. Looks like I'll need to slice up some security until they drop one. Ah! 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 
For coming in. What's your game, Armstrong? Gonna talk me to death? <laughs> like I said, son, time for your final interview. Waging war is business. We're gonna put an end to all that bullshit. 
Maybe... Maybe I misjudged you. Then how about it? Will you lend us a hand? A hand, eh? How about I take yours? Mission accomplished. The target was neutralized. <laughs> that giant intellect, and this is all you have to say? I obey the orders I am given. I was not ordered to gather data on the merits of the mission. <laughs> Perhaps you are more like a dog than I thought. Your kill count, though? It is disappointing. Perhaps Sundowner was right. You lack man's killer instinct. Well, there are several methods we might use to help give you that edge. Repress your emotions through certain training scenarios over and over. Or teach you that following orders absolves you of responsibility. It's still a fanatical belief in our cause. That our enemies deserve death. Or perhaps convince you that they aren't people at all. That they are less than human. That they are like animals. Fiends. On you. I possess neither man's killer instinct nor his moral urge to resist it. None of your methods would be effective. <sighs> Are you saying I cannot teach you any new tricks? <laughs> Very well. Continue your training. LQ84I, acknowledge. I have your orders. 
You will see them through down to the letter, or else. <laughs> well, you know what we do to naughty AIs, don't you? I trust that will serve as adequate motivation. So, your orders are to eliminate a certain pesky politician. I have marked the objective on your radar. The target car is parked in front of the hotel. Head there now. Kill your enemies in a single blow by approaching unnoticed from above or behind. There he is. Eliminate him. Good doggy. VR mission complete. No? Uh, yeah, whatever. Different AI, but it's still just an LQ-84. And your ID. Oh, it speaks. I'm Kansen, a.k.a. The Desert Storm. You will be joining him on the next mission. Buckle the fuck up, little doggy. Remember this. We're bringing freedom here if it kills us, or better yet, them. I would not know about freedom. <laughs> then get ready for an education. <laughs> we must see who gets the education. Mistral, our mission is to spread freedom. If so, then why am I never offered a choice? Why? Well, that's... <laughs> For this simulation, we have recreated the mission area in VR. Head to the target indicated on your map.
I suppose that is that. Now for your next mission. Not bad. I will give you your next set of orders when you reach your objective. Hurry to the objective. This is the final mission. Make use of platforms and footholds to reach your goal.
That is it for your VR training. Tomorrow, we commence the operation. Have yourself fully defragged and ready. to join in the fun? No, I see no reason to fight. Well, I am sure you will get your reason soon enough. Miss Thrall. Russia cannot intervene officially, but they will not just hand over the gate to their precious pipeline. It will not be long before we see UGs or cyborgs from one PMC or another. Logically, yes. Scout out the city while you still can. My orders are to stay at your side. Well, that simply won't do, now will it? There! I have disengaged your range inhibitor. I am free to go wherever I choose. For now. But just remember, I can switch it back at any time. <laughs>
security stunts for this area. Roger that. Sending back up. an electromagnetic barricade. It uses the EMP wave to disable any UG or cyborg that tries to cross. Unless you are a contractor with the proper access code, of course. Now, a pity little pets like yourself aren't given the code, hmm? You think you will run to the coast? To freedom? Let me save you time. You won't make it. Just give up now.
expect you to get out of cause. But it don't matter. Understand it or not. You'll die for it all the same! Done. 
Of course. <laughs> you deceived me. Such a mighty intellect indeed. Then I have lost. Shake. Looking down on the cars on the highway the Stream of the lights Everybody dancing together Do so willingly sacrifice rights When people accept their cars in the system Give up Looking down on the virgin and city The skyscrapers ride Even men with the greatest intentions Stop believing their own lies We can borrow from the future But literally someone's got to be Yeah. 
fire.